Well, I'm going to take a look at Unforeseen Incidents. It's a point and click adventure. Um, web subtitles. Oh, that's all I really care about. That's quite cool. You, you can pick the font. I quite like comic, but let's just go with whatever they've gone with for now. It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coffin fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on 111-111. That number again, 111-111. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls! <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Well, let's have a look. Well, I thought we were having a look. It's cutscenes. All right, we're not involved yet. Hello? Harper, it is Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. See you soon. Always the same. Why well, are we involved there now? No? Yes? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The art style looks pretty cool. And I did like the accents. The fact that everyone's got a unique, different accent. There's the multi tool. There it is. Good old multi tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So it's going to show you, make it obvious where you can click then. My old Gigamaster family entertainment system. I lost too many hours on the old GFES. That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Hyper, we love you. Your ham radio is so <laughs> cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. Oh, so we can interact with it somehow, can we? I don't think any of it's clickable. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can communicate. Oh. I nearly had a signal. Not very really sure what this one does. It says something degrees, doesn't it? Difficulty I've got is the background bloody music is going at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Oh, I swear to God, I nearly had it. We'll leave this for now. Until we know the actual settings, I think I could be a little bleeding day looking at um look I got AM FM craziness. Let's just get out of it. I decided to cover up the window. Sun I prefer the window like this. I decided to cover up the window. Sunlight makes it real hard to sleep during the day, you know? Right, we've done the radio, we've done the computer, we've done the windows. There's some stuff to do over here, just close. What's the point of it? My extensive wardrobe. I have exactly two pairs of pants. For now, dude, we don't really need to be doing anything. The task was to get the multi tool, let's get on with what we've got to do. And we should be done to go now. Let's just get out of it. I don't even know if that's the front door. <laughs> Is that a back door? She's sort of gliding down the stairs. Hey there. Oh, Harper, thank goodness you're here. Come in. He's in. What's the trouble, <laughs> Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modelling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? What's the presentation about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Isn't the government dealing with it? Ah, yes. They've placed us in the benevolent hands of the Rancho Health Corporation. I thought RHC said everything was under control. That's how you know they're cacking their pants, Harper. See, I know these people, and I know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input. Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Wow. Those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Can you find a cure? Uh, it's not quite as simple as finding a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my research team at PNU. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. So anyway... Professor? Yes? Any idea what's wrong with your laptop? No. I plugged it in, but the battery's still going down. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Very funny. Turning it off is exactly what I don't want to do. Okay. Let me see if I can fix that laptop. Thanks. So that's it there? No. Sorry I can't snoop no around his house. snoop around the professor. Lab supplies. All right, let's just get out of here. It's not really appropriate. I should fix the laptop before I go. I thought it was fixing it at home. All right. It's nearly out of juice. You and can it see the charging. pissing cable I down there. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. What a state of cable. Let's take a look here. <laughs> it's all fractured. There's your problem, Professor. 
The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Leave it with me? And the hell do we know where the tape is? The cable... I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. There's definitely some electrical tape around somewhere. Right, but how do I use the tools that I've got in my backpack? Ah. Ah, my multi-tool. The cable is frayed in the middle. I need to strip and split. Yeah, no, that's what I was... Jesus Christ. The multi-tool. Oh my God. It's not telling you how to select things. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. Now, we just need some tape. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Those are classic. It's 20. I listen to tapes now. No electrical tape here. Junk! But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. That's it. Nice bright okay, pink colour. Okay, let's color. make this <laughs> safe. Ish. Alright, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? And this one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing. Anytime. The adapter should last long enough for the professor to get it. Well, what? So now what we got to do? Professor? Yes? Oh, God, I don't See know ya. what we got to do. So we're done with him. No more snooping. Let's have a look at the posters. RHC emergency paramedics are here to protect your health. But why are they dressed like evil spacemen? The Eagle by Cardero. That statue has been standing here for years, frightening children. Oh dear. Got a bit lazy with the going up the stairs a bit. Just sort of glides like a ghost. Holy what crap. The... She'll do as a specimen, won't she? Hello? Jesus. Oh, run, boy, run. Be a zombie soon. Jesus, are you all right? Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor, or wait a minute. Is it is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please get away from me. I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. Carl, how do you call them then? We need to get this shit under wraps. Let's check her bag. This must be the lady's backpack. Oh, it's just going to tell me what it is. That's supposed to be in any use. Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew. This one. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or eyes. Mm hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Is that wow. fun? I feel more relaxed. Hmm. No answer. They didn't want her to get help today. It's a ploy. See so what we can do with this car. 
What a piece of junk. Nothing. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. So we'll Good go back and see Lord, the professor. Harper, what are you doing out there? Huh? Mrs. Olsen. Can't you see that woman sick? Call the hotline. She says she wants to be left alone. Don't joke with me, son. I'd call what you call it myself if it wasn't for my sciatica. She's on death's door. Make the call. I've already right. tried calling I'll them, call so what's he yakking? Well, hurry it up then! I've already tried once, have I not? RHC emergency operator, what is your emergency? Uh, my name's Harper Pendrel. I just found a woman, and she's really sick. There's there's blood everywhere. I think it's Yelltown fever. Where are you right now, sir? Um, I'm right at the town Oh, center. they're gonna quarantine uh, me. <laughs> A medical team is on its way. Please stay where you are until they arrive. Hey, hey you! Sir, please confirm that you will stay. Sorry, sorry, I, I gotta go. She needs help. Sir, please stay where you... Of course I do. I want to freaking have him arrested. You idiot. Excuse me? You... <laughs> Let them write to me. They're coming to help you. Shut up and listen. <laughs> if they find you with me, they'll take you in for testing too. T testing? Mm. But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. But, but the operator told me to stay with you. If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. What do you want me to do? Go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter. For the Times. Give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to Hallowell. Tell no one else. Okay, okay. I promise. Only... <laughs> Hello, well, they're coming. Go now. <laughs> oh, stairs are annoying. There she is. I'm sure Please it's hard to do the animations, but still. <laughs> you see the one who called us in? Uh oh. Run, boy. Chapter one. That was awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> Mrs. Denman, are you okay? It's Harper from next door. Who's there? Oh it's Harper Pendrel, Jeannie's boy. And put on a warm sweater now. But I do as I say, you shouldn't be out and about with this fever going around. People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff old appliances, old comic books, and that would be old Mrs. Denman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. Music just abruptly changes. How are we gonna find this woman then? Huh. Nah, nothing useful in there. This is his own house, it's a bit weird he's surprised to see stuff. In Yelltown, the weather can get pretty rough come winter. Folk like their coats. Dodgy tap. Ugh, 
I should clean this place yeah, tomorrow. The rule is, if you don't open the cupboards, you don't have to... You can't argue with the rule. Ugh. Yeah, tomorrow. Alright, we're gonna give the kitchen a miss. A lot of old stuff. I like old stuff. That TV will... But, but I can't just throw it out. There's a... Don't know any other numbers. Don't really want to do anything. See if there's anything to collect before we go back out. My trusty 40 watt chisel tip Langham soldering iron. You need a good soldering iron if you want to tinker with electronics. I don't think we need to be back here. That's too much trial and error for my locking. Let's just get out of here. Go find this hotel, on it? Yeah, hotel, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, there's loads of uh, spots to look at. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know that. So the space bar actually uncovers all the things you can interact with. Which are all the obvious targets. Whoever made that statue must have a screw loose. It freaks me out. Let's go see the doctor first, the professor. Harper, I didn't expect. What's the matter? I. I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Probably invincible Clean to it. Bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? Hmm. She did say don't tell anyone, didn't she? Um, you know, kind of paranoid. I think there's something... 
not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. I called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. Car's all smashed up, you div. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first that step to want to early, wouldn't it? I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. <laughs> I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Your ride is garbage. What now? I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Oh, God help us. So our priority is the car then, I guess. I don't know where this hotel is. Oh dear. It's locked, but she isn't looking good. These keep Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. At least the oil level is fine. At least the oil level is... Nerds, the radiator hose has a huge leak. Oh yeah, right there. That That's lovely. That radiator hose needs... I think the engine needs some more. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. Dang, the car battery is missing. Well, don't be funny. I don't know where we're going to find more because like the fan they'll be taken for a reason, aren't they? They're really lying around. It doesn't start. So we got a jar. Jake's compressor. These things are exp he wasn't planned. Right, the hotel's that way, the sign even says it. Let's get that part sorted. It's the hotel. Leaving your paint lying around, anyone could come along and take it. My guess no one will miss this. Pretty festive, huh? Well, right, so this is a hotel. Let's just go in.
Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Are you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. Maybe we swap positions. Hmm. Let me have a look around. Um. Look. Actually, I'm looking for a guest. Someone called uh, Hellowell. I, I don't know his first name. Hellowell? It's a woman, isn't I'm it? I'm sorry, Harp. There's nobody here by that name. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your Hellowell here. But I was told to find Hellowell at the hotel. Told by who? Um, I just saw an infected woman in the street. What? An infected woman? Jeez, Harper. I know. It was pretty awful. What did you do? I called her HC. I knew it. You're a good guy, Hopper. Pretty scary. You didn't get infected, though, did you? Nah, I haven't gotten sick since we were kids. Phew. Well, well, that lady was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Oh, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. Are you sure you don't have a guest called Hellowell? Yep. Sorry, Hopper. How's the hotel trade? Eh, could be better. This Yelltown fever thing is not good for business. Worse than the Yelltown fire and the Yelltown floods put together. On the bright side, not as bad as the Yelltown earthquake or the Yelltown hurricane. Why would <laughs> anyone build a hotel? I'll put the name of the town at the beginning of every bloody line. What do you think about Yelltown fever? Real scary. They talk about it like it's like it's the Acropolis or something. <laughs> the Acropolis? Yeah, like some revelations crap. I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Oh, oh, oh I am, I am. I, I dig the Sea Dogs. The Seagulls, more. Uh, exactly. Uh, go Gulls! Woo! You don't know a thing about football, do you? No, no, I, I'm a fan all the way. Mm-hmm, yeah, of the Sea Ducks. Oh, damn it, Harper. Okay, I want to be a fan. Everybody's going to talk about the big game tomorrow. I don't want to be out of the loop when I, uh... <clears throat> Wait, is this football thing about a guy? Well... Uh... <laughs> Dada Bear's coming out of his cave. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just may have a date with a certain gentleman acquaintance. Who's that Halliwell bloke? Where you go, Morton? But he's so into sports. I don't want to look dumb. Mort, don't worry about looking dumb. You always look dumb. Hey! <laughs> but you're a nice guy. I'm sure you're... Gentlemen, we'll see that. <sighs> I still wish I could watch the game, though. Sorry you're going to miss the big game. It's the worst. Never mind. You're not allowed back here, Harper. But I just want to... You know the rules, buddy. Hmm. Hopper, I told you. I got in real trouble when I let you store all that meat in the AC. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Morty's not usually this on the ball. Mr. Siegel must have drilled him. A few bits here. Yeah. A power outlet. Endless spot. It's got the elevator. We've got hallway downstairs. That's the basement. That's where everyone's watching the game, isn't it? Let's do that. Oh wow, busy. That old chair. Me and Mort used to spend every night playing on that pool table. I hate to think about how many times we got hustled by truckers on layover. I wonder why they bother printing a menu. No one comes down here to read. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? 
I'm looking for Hellowell. Uh, for who? Hellowell? A reporter for the Times? I don't know a Hellowell. Sorry, buddy. Barkeep, give me a drink. Barkeep? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Um, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not, not the remake. No ID, no alcohol, buddy. I see you threw a pregame party. Sure did. You're welcome to stay and watch it with us. Fancy decorations. Thanks. Times like these, you gotta do what you can to keep smiling. We even watched a bunch of classic seagulls games on tape. It was great. Boo! Seagulls suck! <laughs> So how's the game going? Pretty exciting. You should watch it with us. We could use a few more raccoon supporters over here. If I wanted to see grown men fight over a piece of leather, I'd go to Discount Shoe Mart. They're showing the game there too? Huh. <sighs> what do you think of Yelltown Fever? It's just terrible. Bar taken's a way down. I guess a health scare keeps people at home. Worse, they start doing yoga and probiotic yogurt. It's the end of the world as we know it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I... Later. Hi! Hey! Howdy. Do you know someone called Hellowell? Sure do. Hellowell White, running back for the Seagulls 92-94. I think you meant a guest, Merle. Sorry, we don't know any Hellowell. What's with all these old videotapes? We had an awesome pregame party this afternoon. Ah, uh, yeah. Awesome. We watched five decades of Seagull's highlights to get us in the mood. I get the feeling you didn't both enjoy the pregame party. Yeah, my unlucky friend here is a raccoons fan. The raccoons are awesome, and your stupid party was boring as hell. Oh, it was amazing. When we crushed the Vandals in the playoffs, my personal highlight. Boring. The division final between the Seagulls and the Wolves? Oh, man. Mondo boring -o. Only one game against the Raccoons. And naturally, the Raccoons got their asses handed to them. <sighs> I'm sure the Seagulls I was leading somewhere this. Oh boy! You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time ago. We got a score to settle. Bring it on! Alright, I know it's the point of keep chatting to them about the football. Anyway. Did you hear about that disease? Oh, we heard about it. Real frightening. That's why we took safety precautions. I'm wearing my Lucky Seagulls boxers. What? How are they going to help? That's what I told them. <laughs> lucky boxers indeed. Useless compared to my lucky raccoons, brah. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. No point. It's an old VCR. Not necessarily I love jibber jabber. Tennis. tennis. Probably come in with a false name, and they hold up in their room. Sorry, Hopper. Oh, for love of God! Schlep through all the floors anyway. Sorry, Hopper. I don't have time to schlep through all the floors anyway. Bloody hell! Can't do anything with this bloke. Hey, Morton. Hey, buddy. Never mind. <sighs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe the focus has got to be fix the car. Always smart to have a backup generator. I helped Mr. Siegel install it back when I was in high school. Ah, the junkyard. I wonder if Leroy's home. 
Ah, all right. This is what this is what we need. Junk yard. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Won't be long into the circle. Looks like business is rusting. That engine now. It is a car engine, but let's get that drop down. Maybe there's something useful in that old car engine. I should ask Leroy. Maybe there's something. I should ask Lee. Say that. Where the hell is Leroy? Oh, yeah. There's an old car engine. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? How's the junkyard? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things. Leroy. You're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually... I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just one more good turn. Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I... You know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink, and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. God damn, I gotta go looking for a bloody ID. Are you watching the game? Of course! I never miss the big finale. Wanna join? No thanks, I got to. Not me! Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Oh my Jesus. Oh, I oh, I wonder... So we've got a paint can, we've got a paint sprayer. Huh? I don't know what the hell we need to do that though. It's not as busy as it was. It amazes Matt's plan up. Oh bloody hell! I always like Roman Leroy's trail. You know me, huh? Now he wants a drink. You need ID to get the drink. Bit of back and forth going on here. The hose, I'm guessing, is for the compressor, or maybe you can use it for the radiator in the car. No, nope. have to say. Still. Yeah, all right. I wouldn't know how to use the. Well, where else can we come use it? I need some tape. I can't make those things work to Ah. Uh. So you double click, you can speed it up rather than watch them walk. Whenever I had an idea as a looking back, I guess my <sighs> an old photo of me. Yeah, I think. 
I think Cal well and yell to folk like they're I think she's upstairs, I know. Bad news. When I was a kid, now I... Where am I going to find your ID, dude? Me? Mom and I would have... They used to draw stupid... If I'd ever built them... Some of the... I... He's getting clogged with dust... Get this, make my life a little bit quicker, eh? Right? Huh, I knew I left my ID. Go for that. Right, that's that solved. I prefer the sunlight is. Oh, fish food as well. I might better feed the fish. Drive them nuts a bit. Let's go. Be a little bit easier if there's like a map. Instead of keep going back and forth. This scene and the next scene. Someone's right. Here we go. So can't really do anything with him. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can get to the fish. Let's have a look. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Huh, <laughs> got an achievement, something fishy. Well, that does say it like a, does look like a dead fish, so maybe that killed him. Alright, let's get over here. Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? Of course. Here it is. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. All right, back out. Your drink, Leroy. All right, I'll get some of these pots. Thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car pots anytime. All right. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. Huh. About those car parts. Yep. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect a gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to Kingdom Come. About that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas cylinder. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it, I need one. You can always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. <laughs> Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure. Take a look. 
Where the hell do I know? Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. Never well, mind. we'll have a look. I need a have to look to it up. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Right, where's a gas cylinder? Okay, gas cylinders. Gas cylinders. Ha! This looks like a radiator hose. Boom. Right, then let's get this damn engine down. I bet the whole thing just drops. <laughs> it's stuck. How do you mean it's stuck? I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always. Maybe it's something electric power, maybe. Electric. Come on, glue. We need the blue to come or something. It's a paint atomizer. Huh. Seems to be jammed with some dried paint. Kill it bang. Let's see if that works on when it. I said I'd clean up this. <laughs> also, I was thinking more of a lubricant. Um. Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Neat. Leroy doesn't usually mind me being a magpie for electronics, as long as it's going to a good home. Hard to believe I once picked up a working 76 Kojak transceiver from here. Lovely. Um, don't know how we're going to get this engine down. Let's see here. I think I put the car on it. And an old hair dryer. Nah. I wonder how long that engine's been. Hope it isn't all right. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the circle of life. What do I might go back to the car for a minute and just do what I can there. Let's put things in, let's put things in. Right, so we've got the new hose, we've got a new battery. Can't zoom in at all, can you? What does it say? At least the oil level. It's all squibble, isn't it? At least the oil level. It needs a replacement. It's got orange, pink, and orange, pink. Should I go by the color of that? Oh, yeah, pink. It's there. Call it pink. Oh crap, there's three pink. G, it's got a G on it. So it's G13 or G18. Crap. It's low on coolant. I think the engine needs some more cool. I oh, get that, dude. I'm just trying to figure it right in it. 
That's not useful, does it? Because it's wiggly there, I'm wondering if it's an eye. G18. Don't know, we're gonna get the rest of the parts. Did he say he left something there? Can't look in it, can you? It says, Hmm, what do you look crying and a tea? Whoever. Definitely got me going back and forward. The Cahill East. Just need the spark plugs. I oh know. Spark plugs and the bloody. What do we need? Spark plugs. Coolant and spark plugs. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those. Yep. Could you pass me a? Sure. Uh, that one. That one. I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. All right, Thanks. it's fully 13, isn't it? Is it? Sure, I'm, I'm here. The junkyard is hurtling through space. Have a sense of... The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. At least I hope I do. <laughs> Let's talk about some. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Let's try that lubricant. Let's try the coolant on it. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, is it? Better not cool that. I don't know if you're gonna release it. Might be the 13, mightn't it? God, it's no way knowing. Did I put the wrong one in it? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. Done. 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 Jake even took two of the spark. What a crankshaft. Mm. <laughs> so they've got to do that, fan belts, and the spark plugs. That's the radio. Looks like a cop.
Just gonna see him, see if he's got anything I can help. I thought it was his car, isn't it? Hey, Professor. Hello, Hop. I'm still working on your car. Jake really did a number on the old girl. Thanks, Harper. Oh, for love of God, don't have any insight then. Jesus. See you later, Professor. Goodbye, Harper. For folks, probably. All the stuff you need What's to run a lab. Ball? Lab sub. What's that? Something. I've done enough from. <sighs> it's a nice. Maybe I should take. I've done enough from. I've done enough. Hey, Professor. Sorry, Harper. You Science stuff. Exact. And. Uh... <laughs> ah! Harper! <laughs> hey, Professor. No. You mean. I don't. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Some grease would have hurt, but... There's nowhere to go. Let's have a look one more time in here. I don't suppose we can find nothing, anything. I'm not. Am I? Huh. Well, maybe it'll be useful. I just hope no one saw me take it. Let that do the belt. Weirdly. Something in his pissing cupboard, he won't even open the cupboard. The rule is if you oh, can't argue uh, yeah, tomorrow, the rule is you can't argue. I've always I brought he got any grease in his bedroom. I don't know. My old. I lost. The. My. Tr you need a good soldering. Um. What? Well, I'm going to leave it there for now. Let's get it saved up. Yeah, it's all saved now. Let's leave it there and come back again another time.